Hello and welcome to YouTube channel of RVMAX.US. Today we're going to present you 2006 Gulfstream Independence Model 8330 LS. Uh, this beautiful motorhome was trade in as you uh, guys have subscribed to our channel. No, we don't sell any repossessed motorhome. Trade in motorhomes are better motorhomes. I, I see a small little star crack right here, but that's on passenger windshield. Very small. That's not in the vision area of a driver none of the other cracks or any damage I see on the windshields. Nice motorhome, about 33 feet long, V10, about 60 some thousand miles. Take a look at it. It's really nice motorhome. Got leveling jacks as you can see under there. Let's see, we've got Samson tires. Take a look at all my pictures with a date code. Uh, no dry rotted cracks. If I can see a date code somewhere, maybe I can. I think they're 14 or something. I don't know. Tires look good. Let's see what's under here. Some storage, electrical components for a chassis part. Got a little scratch going on on this door. All right, let's see what else are. So, talking about big deep slide out. This champagne part has little dry rider cracks. Black part's not bad, but this side is a little cracked up. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, those are your hydraulic levelers and uh, hydraulic leveling slide out. All that is operated from here. There should be LP tank here. Indeed it is. All right, got a few little scratch here. Let's see what's in that last couple of compartments here. Water pump, easy access to winterize. All right. Samson tires again. I don't see any dry rider checking. They seem to be in good shape. Lots of trades. That's probably uh, water, city water hookup, and a gravity fill. And you can lock this thing up. It's unlocked right now. No D lamb, straight body. That should be your wash bay. It is. That's where you discharge your gray tank, black tank. This one has a 50 amp power supply. That's a good thing. Not a 30 amp, so you can run both air conditioners. This door here goes pass through from top. So now we stand back. We got some cracked decals with straight body, no body damage, besides a few little scratches you saw on those basement compartment. Towing hitch, about 5,000 pound towing capacity. Got a four pin hookup. We'll get up on top and show you the roof just in a minute. Here, passing the side wall, looks great. That's the pass-through storage. A little damage here on a generator. I guess they probably made it. They wanted to put that a chimney, what do you call the Gen Touri, Guardian 5500 watt generator. I believe about 700 hours. So that's not a damage. They cut it out to put a Gen Touri. So when you camp at football stadium or somewhere, so golden part or champagne part of decals are tattered up a little bit here too. But overall, this side is less, less tattered up than the other side. So it must be more sun exposed on the other side, and that's typical on this. 12 years old motorhome. All right, now let me point out something. Right here, I saw a couple of holes. See this couple of holes? It had an old style pull awning. So previous owner spent about a couple of grand, 1,500, I'd say at least $2,000 on electric awning. So in here has a button and all you do is push button and it goes up and comes down. So, oh, so anyways, it's an electric, electric awning. That's a nice little upgrade. 
door has some little white part here, may have had a little damage. You know, I like to point out every little thing. These are used motorhomes. We'll have some blemishes, not a new motorhome. A guy from uh, Maryland just text, uh, emailed me uh, a little YouTube video. They said buying a new motorhome, they have so many kinks and uh, you'd never able to camp. At least used motorhome may have some blemishes, but they've been driven. And uh, we'll make sure, speaking of uh, that you can go camp out here, we're going to make sure water system has no leaks, air conditions works. Uh, generator, all that. As you can hear, the generator is running. All right, let, let's step up. Let's get up on top of the roof and show them what the roof looks like. We're on top of this beautiful roof. I believe it's a fiberglass. It doesn't seem like a rubber roof. Caulking is a little old. I just see very minor, a couple of places by the bathroom skylight and places. It's got a couple of places we could probably re it, but looks really good. No, no worries. It's an older caulking, so it's older. I just see a couple of small cracks, but we have not seen any water leaks. Both shrouds on air conditions are not broken, not been hit under the low bridge or low tree, uh, tree limbs and stuff. The uh, refrigerator vent looks good. So no worries up on top. Good, good solid roof. Uh, let's get back down and finish our video. Now this is where I get excited, showing you interior. Check out this engineered wood. It had rubberized steps and carpet no more of that ugly stuff we got beautiful engineered wood this is not a laminate we we got we went ahead and got little engineered wood check it out i love it oh uh, i'll take my shoes off anyways here it's very very clean i, I love this color it's a light color uh, and look at this either previous owner or put some uh what do you call lacquer on it or something but they are shiny all the wood take a look at it they're really 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 shiny kind of like a beaver motorhomes if you know those folks have seen been watching some videos some of the beavers i mean they just got like i don't know if that's a, this is a factory or whatnot but it, it's beautiful shine on them so sofa opens up in a bed it jackknifes and if you can see the floor goes all the way in there we didn't do a cheap job it's all the way there got a quarter round got some seat belts here at least two i see two two and maybe someone uh boot down it this is a full bed it opens up all right let's uh look it over in front we've got a nice rca tv no signal it's not hooked up to anything you may have to uh you know get you some satellite dish or amazon prime little or roku or any of those stuff we don't get into uh audio video a whole lot let me sit in here now this golf stream you have to have a seat all the way forward in order to get the slides out so i'm gonna get my seat backward Woo. all right Slide right up, 64,092 miles, color backup monitor, uh, DAS air is good. We usually do test drive video, but today we're kind of not going to do it. And uh, if you have any questions, call us and we'll, uh, we drove it and it drives really good. The motorhome drives good, V10, really nice driving motorhome. Uh, it's got fan, they're hidden back there behind the window, windshield. Uh, 778 hours it was 777 earlier so that dash fan is really good got a cruise control tilt steering wheel it's got leveling jack uh they're kind of funky the way they work but these three buttons uh works them all four uh, don't ask me why but i read some of the instruction here and the jacks works as you saw outside and look at my pictures all the videos work we got one two three and four. Oh my god you can have four cell phones or or GPS and all that. You got a bunch of hookups here. I like that. Oh, there's one more there in front of the passenger seat. So we got five hookups. Everybody's happy in the family. Everybody's got their phone. So seats are not tore or any any damage on it. They look in very good shape. Uh, passenger seat, same way. And uh, as you can see, carpets are in good shape. They have thrown some rugs. And we didn't change the carpet in front. 
All the walls seems to be good. Windows are good, no foggy windows. So hardwood floor starts from here on backward. Take, check, take a look at this, it's, it's really nice. Original carpet, got a little stain in it, no extra charge for that. Uh, you can shampoo it out or whatnot. Uh, this is another owner, I think now I can tell they painted this because this is not a factory. They added a little more, I like that because, see you don't have a whole lot of uh, counter space. I love cooking and I kind of see the owner's uh, problem, you know, when you're cooking, sometimes you can cover one sink up and leave one sink open but now you got you got a little cutting board, a little little counter space, and it goes. But now you got to put it back when you get the slide back in. It's a little tight to put it in here. There we go, and it goes back in like that. Two roof air conditioner. They look like a. They must have been changed because they're two different. Maybe one of them is new. The bedroom AC must be new or something. All right. Uh, three burner gas stove. Whirlpool microwave oven. with the convection some storage under there here big long drawers more storage under there let's see uh, double door refrigerator domatic we got some uh, maybe uh, closet for spice or canned goods, whatever you want to store in here. There's some storage under the booth down that I see. And upholstery seems to be in very, very good shape. No uh, sign of abuse or any stains. Looks really good. Oh, by the way, this is a tall coach. I'm six feet tall and I got another foot on top. This is a seven feet tall ceiling. That was probably new for 2006, but it's really nice to have a tall ceiling. All righty, we got a little, fantastic little fan up here, exhaust fan. We'll chalk all this stuff out. We got a little wardrobe here, a little cook closet, if you would call that. drawers about four of those here directly behind you is a bathroom area another thing I can tell that is not factory they they put a china sink here probably had a little sink and they didn't like it they changed that nice little mirror upgrade here the holding tank heater. So this 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 coach is uh, made to go in Alaska, whatever you want to go in the cold places. So we've got a little bathtub, stand up shower. Take a look at all the ceiling up on top. No, no stains or any water intrusion. Looks like a, you know, this is in good shape. It was a good trading mud home at Myrtle Beach, and that's where we got it. So nice big hallway coming into the bedroom. You have a little privacy door or curtain whatever you call it locks in place like that back in the bedroom take a look at it it's lot, lots of room nice nice little bedroom on both sides you can walk around got some coat closet more got three drawers on each side I don't know how many drawers are there but there are three drawers here maybe just a couple another coat a uh, coat, a wardrobe, whatever you call it. Nice little headboard. Over here, we got a little stand to put TV. But, um, you know, if you can imagine, you can put probably nice TV up here. Got a coaxial coming in, audio videos coming in from front. Uh, you could probably put a nice, uh, you know, 32 inch TV here if you like. We got a uh, all the window treatments Let's see here. on this side so wood the hardwood floor continues as you can see throughout the coach all the way there are three drawers here too on this nightstand uh, let's see if there is some storage under the bed we've got to check that out mm, oops <laughs> I had a had a handle let's see uh, yeah there is a storage on that side 
Oh, a little extra comforter set or something. I think this is a cover for a converter and a automatic transfer switch, stuff like that. So it should be probably pushed forward and you got storage back there. You get the picture. All right, so this will conclude our video on this 2006 Gulfstream Model 8330. That's 8330 Model LS. I don't know what the LS stands for. Luxury, special, I don't know. <laughs> Tall ceiling, good motorhome. Got a few flaws outside you saw. Uh, trading motorhome, got electric awning. 64,000 mile leveling jacks. It'll sleep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, depending on kids and adults, or maybe six adults. So it sleeps plenty of people. It's like a Class C, but it's a whole lot better than a Class C. Class C's, I like Class A personally better than Class A any day, Class C any day. They ride a whole lot better. Um, so uh, in, uh, to end the video, you have any questions, give us a call. We also do a video call, FaceTime or Google Duo or WhatsApp, whatever app you have if you want to see this coach beside this video. Um, we take deposit over the phone as long as you come in here in a few days. We hold it for you. Deposit is refundable once you come here. You don't like the coach for whatever reason. Uh, we take trades, help you to get finance. We have a title in our hand. So we're a very small dealer. and We sell four or five motorhomes a month. And uh, we take pride in selling good motorhomes. They're not perfect by any means. They are never be perfect. They're old motorhome. We may miss a, a scratch or some, uh, you know, a flaw. But we try to do our best job to show you everything on our videos and pictures. My number is 864. Well, I'm going to have you call my daughter. 864-569-5636. Her number, Nicole's number is 864 864- 569-5636. And if she doesn't answer or doesn't return your text, give me a call, 864-404-0054. Thank you and have a great day. All right, here we are driving this thing. Man, drives just fantastic. 30 miles an hour. I'm 35 now. Driving in town. You know, I just drove just a couple of days ago. We sold really nice 2000 model wind sport. And what a difference, okay? 2000 model. It had a V10, had about 32,000 miles. Well, this is a six years newer with about 64,000 miles. It, it, it's ironic. It's almost twice as many miles, but it's six year newer. I can just see the difference in, in, in a hand, handling. It's a lot better. So it's got more miles, but it's newer. And that's where the factor comes in of how nice it rides, you know, newer technology or it just tall coach. It's a Ford F550 uh, Super Duty chassis. Let's wear the red line or not. Man, it's God almighty. The other one had a 35 foot, had two slides. It, this one's got a, such a quick acceleration. I could just uh, see the, I almost put another coach down, but I'm not. It was a nice motorhome. But you know, obviously this is gonna be a little bit more money than a 2000 model. Man, it runs just, just fabulous. Let's, let's check it out on the highway here. Uh, we're about to enter a highway and uh, we're going to put it to the test. No unnecessary noise. It's pretty quiet. All I hear is uh, the fan. I just turned that off or we'll turn it down. By the way, air conditioning is ice cold. And we're talking about the uh, DAS air conditioner. Let's try the uh, radio out. Hee hee. Ba 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 ba. And up. It's skin to skin con. Sounds good. Okay. Stereo sounds great. Got a CD player. Uh, may have Sirius XM. I don't know. Nowadays, if you are a very uh, a music um, crazy guy, you can go in and get you a nice, um, you know, music system with a music system with a Bluetooth radio, all that. But there's nothing wrong with this. Runs good. Uh, we still got generator running going down the road. Some people ask me questions. Hey, can you run generator while you're driving down the road? Yes, you can. They're made to run. Uh, so, you know, you're driving down in a hot weather somewhere in Florida or Arizona, you can run air conditioning um, while you're on the road. Uh, we're just about there to enter a highway. A little bit of traffic here, almost uh, 8.51 p.m. Uh, so far, we're going to test drive and make sure all the 
cruise controls and all that stuff works. There we are. I'm going to check the acceleration. Yeah, earlier in my video, I said, we're not going to test drive. But then we thought, I said, why not? We took, put a test drive up. Man, it's just smooth. I'm already doing 45 miles an hour. Getting on the interstate, 50, 55, 60 miles an hour. Man, just runs fabulous. I love it the way it drives. I'm gonna go one more exit up and my cruise is on at about 65 miles an hour. That's when you're gonna get the best fuel mileage at 60 to 65. Really nice running motorhome here. So have any questions, give my daughter a call, 864-569-5636. That's 864-569-5636. Or text her, we like text communication. My number is 864-404-0054. That number again is 864-404-0054. Man, this thing runs great. Look at here. Just steer straight. I'm not fighting. I'm going to take exit here. Let's check it out. Brakes are great. Wow. Just a, just a really nice running machine. All right. So let's talk about the video. Uh, let's talk about the price. This motorhome, I just looked it up on NADA without any ads. Hardwood floor, we've got about $2,500 add right there. Uh, retail value is around $35,000. We're going to put this coach for $28,500. That's $28,500. So we're not asking too high, not asking too low, just a good price. Uh, including this price, we'll do PDI, that's transfer, that stands for pre-delivery inspection. We'll make sure everything working properly when you come pick it up. We hand you key and a title, and you can go camp for my yard. Thanks for watching this long video, and we'll look forward to earning your business. The numbers again are 864-569-5636 or 864-404-0054. Thank you, and have a blessed day.